the news you need right now. Tonight, a warning about the shelf life of those vitamin supplements you may be taking. Then... Another politician just lying like everyone before and everyone after. Just some of the reaction we found along the Space Coast today after the president announces a conference in Florida next month to talk about the future of space. Good evening. I'm Todd Romero. Thanks for joining us. Our top story right now is the threat of brush fires across central Florida tonight. There's a red flag warning out for most of the state except for the coast. Wooded areas are very dry and conditions are good for brush fires. Take a look at this video from a brush fire burning in Lake County. It started in a rural area of Claremont around Lake Nelly Road. The flames have spread to about 50 to 70 acres and people have been forced to evacuate their horses because of the danger. Several homes are also within range of this wildfire, but right now fire crews are doing backburns to keep the threat away. So far, it has not been contained. I was actually the first one. An announcement from the White House today. President Obama is expected to unveil a, quote, ambitious plan for NASA at a conference in Florida next month. But some Space Coast residents expected to be affected by current plans aren't buying it. Here's reporter Chris Trinkman with the story. Losing NASA's shuttle pro in Titusville, Chris Trinkman, Local 6. The conference is scheduled for April 15th. The White House, however, is not yet releasing details of the meeting. Speaking of NASA, the man credited with helping the space agency recover from the Challenger disaster has died. Local 6 has learned Aaron Cohen died last month after a long battle with cancer. Cohen was the former director of NASA's Johnson County Space Center in Houston before retiring in 1993. NASA Administrator Charles Bolden says Cohen was his mentor and provided critical leadership following the Challenger disaster. Cohen was 79 years old. A father stands charged of murdering his son in Osceola County. The sheriff's office says this man, 76-year-old Lindsey Peoples Sr., shot and killed his 47-year-old son John last night during a verbal dispute. He's being held at Osceola County Jail with no bond. These were deputies on the scene last night at a home on Crabgrass Road in St. Cloud where it happened. Deputies say Peoples also shot his 55-year-old son, also named Lindsey, who was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The trial for the estranged daughter of actor Billy Bob Thornton is expected to get underway tomorrow. This was Amanda Brumfield in July of last year, being released from jail after posting bond. The Okoye woman was charged with murder in the death of her best friend's one-year-old daughter, Olivia. Brumfield was babysitting the girl at the time, claiming she fell to the ground while straddling the top of her playpen. Her death was later ruled a homicide. Turning to our economy, GM dealers across Central Florida could be among the hundreds receiving notices from the company to stay in business. The dealerships were spared after Congress passed a law last month requiring the auto giant to have an appeals process for the dealers. We're told more than 1,100 dealers appealed to GM to have their franchise agreements renewed, but just over 600 made the cut. GM also says dealers will have 10 days to respond and 60 days to meet a set of criteria that would allow them to stay with GM. The automaker wants to shed what it considers excess dealers as part of a bankruptcy reorganization last year. Just this week, GM reported its February sales rose nearly 12%. One of the FBI's most wanted has been captured in Pakistan. This man, American board Adam Gadan, is a spokesman for Al Qaeda. Two Pakistan intelligence officers say he was arrested in recent days after appearing in a video online. This is file video of him. Gadan has been wanted by the FBI since 2004. A $1 million reward has been offered for information leading to his arrest. Gadan grew up on a goat farm in Riverside County, California and converted to Islam at a mosque in nearby Orange County. He moved to Pakistan in 1998, according to the FBI. The most recent video of Gadan reportedly surfaced today, praising the U.S. Army major charged with killing 13 people in Fort Hood, Texas. In Iraq, a higher vote out, voter turnout than expected as thousands of Iraqis brave violence to stand in lines at the polls. President Barack Obama applauds their courage. Meantime, insurgents carried out attacks as promised, killing nearly 40 people in Baghdad. Today marks Iraq's second nationwide election since the U.S.-led invasion in 2003. In health, if you store your vitamins in the kitchen or bathroom, that's apparently a bad decision. Researchers from Purdue University say those are the worst places in the house for storage. High humidity and temperatures can quickly ruin the shelf life of supplements. Researchers say vitamin C, for example, can be a complete loss even in just one week's time. 
They say first signs of nutrient loss are brown spots, especially on children's vitamins. The world's famous dog sled race kicks off tomorrow. Three, two, one, go! One of our favorites. A ceremonial start was held in Anchorage, Alaska today, marking the 38th Iditarod. More than 20 of the 71 teams competing this year are rookies, including the first ever competitor from Jamaica. Teams will cross more than 1,000 miles over nine days on some of the most extreme terrain in the world. I'm Todd Romero. You're watching Local 6 at 6.